salt burn. Burning salt is one of the most powerful forms of space clearing that I've ever encountered in my life. I only use it on very special occasions when I have really deep, deep, deep stuff to clear out of a space, stuff hanging in the air, a feeling like I don't wanna go in a room, when people have insomnia and they can't go near their bed. That's when stuff is really looming and if all regular means of trying to clear it, house cleaning, burning sage, opening windows, none of that works, burn some salt. Now, only burn salt if you feel really comfortable with it because it is definitely an experience to do this. Some people are really scared. I was really scared to do it for a while. Do it at your own risk. I don't want you to do anything that you feel uncomfortable with. Don't do it with any children around and don't do it with any pets around. So I make sure that my dogs are in another room when I'm doing this so that it can be completely safe and controlled and I can focus. And here's what I do to do this in the safest and most effective way possible. First, I get a baking pan, an old baking pan. And this one is full of water at the bottom for safety. I make sure that it's on a fire safe surface. So that's incredibly important. You wanna be sure to be very, very, very fire safe. Now, you might have a mug that's safe to go in the oven. I have a ramekin that I use for salt burning and I use the same one over and over again. And you just fill it with sea salt. Sea salt is in itself a really powerful form of space clearing, but when you burn the salt, I believe it really activates the energy of the salt and whips things out of your space. So you take the salt filled ramekin or bowl or whatever is fire safe, fire safe, put it in the pan of water. And then sometimes I use Bacardi 151, sometimes I use Everclear alcohol, or sometimes I use rubbing alcohol. In this case, I'm using rubbing alcohol. And I'm just going to add enough to the salt so that it's barely moistened. You do not want your salt swimming in alcohol. So you're gonna take it, add the alcohol to it, and now you need some matches. People use matches. I've also seen people use long barbecue lighters to light this. And what I do is I actually drop a match in because I'm totally scared of this. Never, ever, ever lose sight of it while it's burning. Now set your intention very clearly. You're gonna clear the space and you're gonna watch the flame as it burns. And as the flame burns, you're going to picture it pulling out of your space and transforming any negative energy into positive energy. So it looks like this. Now that it's on fire, I will watch it completely carefully until all the alcohol is burned out and I'm going to imagine every single bad vibe in the space being sucked out and burned out as this burns. So focus, meditate on the flame. It's very hard to see the flame sometimes, but it's there. So focus and make sure you sit with it until all of the alcohol is burned off. You will then have a completely clear space. And you wanna make sure you're really meditating on this. When you're done, take everything, bring it to a sink or another fire safe place and start cleaning and clearing it out. Usually I run some water over it in the sink until it's all completely cooled down and clear. And then I make sure that everything is cleaned out and I put both of these things aside and only use them for salt burning. So this is a massive way to clear a lot of space in your home. And again, if you have anything that's not budging, this bad vibe that won't go away for whatever reason or a house problem that won't resolve, Try this burning salt, be extremely safe, and I'm excited to hear what happens. The Catalyst Camp is coming soon, so make sure you sign up for the free video series.